Bonnie Johnson started the Gymnastics Academy of Rockford in 1977 and ran it until she passed it on to her daughter Lori and son-in-law Jim in 1993. Saying Bonnie leads an active lifestyle is an understatement. She is a mother, grandmother, wife, entrepreneur, coach, pilot, and all-around go-getter. But a few years ago, her life turned upside down. It felt like the top part of my body was too heavy for the bottom part. It just, I couldn't stand, uh, and that was the hardest thing. Ten years earlier, she started to have some back problems and went to see an orthopedic surgeon. At the time, his advice to Bonnie was to try less invasive measures to ease the pain and hold off on surgery as long as she could. Unfortunately, I took it maybe a little too literally because I waited until I was in extreme pain, couldn't walk without a walker. I really couldn't stand for more than 30 seconds at a time. The woman who once paraglided in Europe and jumped off a mountain in Switzerland was forced to spend her days in bed. When she couldn't stand the pain anymore, she turned to Dr. Fred Sweet at Rockford Spine Center for help. She uh, came to our clinic in a wheelchair. Uh, she had a very crooked, deformed spine. Uh, they'd gone to a point where every time she'd stand up, she'd put a tremendous amount of pressure on one of her nerves. Bonnie suffered from scoliosis, kyphosis, and degeneration of the spine, conditions that she could have been born with and worsened as she got older. This photo shows Bonnie at the height of her pain trying to stand up straight. Some mild deformity is normal with age, but Bonnie suffered from an extreme case. Vertebrae are actually tilted, and that's what was compressing the nerve. And the only way to relieve her nerve pain was to actually straighten up the scoliosis and the kyphosis. Historically, the surgery to correct these conditions is very complex, taking 8 to 10 hours, and often comes with high complication rates. However, in 2005, Dr. Sweet developed a new technique called transforaminal anterior release that is showing promising results for patients. We have a much shorter operative time and a lot lower blood loss. Our patients don't have to go to the ICU. They don't have to be on ventilators. They can eat right away. We get them out of bed right away. So the complication rate is really falls off dramatically. By going through a disc instead of bone, Dr. Sweet has managed to shorten operative time and blood loss. Dr. Sweet has shared his new technique with colleagues at the International Meeting on Advanced Spine Techniques in Canada. He has done the operation on about 70 patients, including Bonnie. I feel um, just like a new person. I mean, I just, I feel 30 years younger than I did before I had that surgery. And my husband thinks that is, he thinks he got his wife back. I think I got my life back. It has been eight months since the surgery and Bonnie is pain-free and enjoying life again. While it has been 20 years since she coached gymnastics, she can now jump right back in like it was yesterday. She says it's a miracle and is so thankful for Dr. Sweet. I'm blessed and grateful.